Radio Pulpit, 657 AM. Good day to everyone. This is Pastor Julius from Hope Baptist Church. It's a pleasure to come your way again today. Uh, I just have a word from the Lord to encourage somebody uh, today. We will be reading from the book of James, James chapter 1 and verse 2. James chapter 1, verse 2. And I read, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. It, I just could go to verse 3 because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. I, I want to share with you today on the very topic, joy in trials, joy in trials. Uh, it, it, it's quite an oxymoron, but it's probably much more very paradoxical. It is the very core of a contrast that you can celebrate, you can have joy in the midst of your trials. You know, sometimes life brings very difficult moments in our space. Sometimes we pass through the very challenges which we least expect in life. James is like the Proverbs of the New Testament. And James is written to Christians, but to relate Christianity in a very much more practical way. And I want to encourage you this day because the reality is that you can face joy in the midst of your trials, in the midst of the challenges that you're going through, in the midst of the tests that you're going through, in the midst of the upheavals that you're going through. Indeed, you can face trials. You can face joy in, in your trials. The reality about this is also that the book of James is, is quite a practical book, as I said earlier in the Bible. If you read the first chapter of James, it highlights wisdom and true religion. If you read the second chapter of James, it highlights faith without work is dead. If you read the third chapter of James, it highlights the power of the tongue. Life and death lies in your tongue. The fourth chapter of James celebrates humility. The fifth chapter of James invites us into effective prayer. And so I bring you back to this first chapter. I bring you back to this first chapter because Christianity is a very practical life. Uh, and James does not want to again complicate our theology he wants to bring us into that point where you will realize that in this world jesus christ said there will be many trials there'll be many temptations there'll be tribulations but in all of these he has overcome the world he's given us the victory so i want to share with you in the context of this passage a little bit the exegesis of our passage the interpretation of verse 2 which starts with consider it pure joy. The word consider means think about it. Look at the gain. Look at the positive. Look at the benefit of your trials. Uh, I don't know if you're thinking alongside me, can any good come out of my trials? Can any good come out of my very test? I I've just come with an answer from James. James says, consider it. It means you must apply your mind to understand that in the midst of the trials, in the midst of the test that you're going through, look into it in between the lines. What is God saying? Is there no gain, profit, benefit coming out of it? James says, indeed, there is profit. There is benefit coming out of the trials that you're going through. So I want to share with you, like every good Baptist, I want to share with you today just three points. Three points which highlight what is produced in you when you go through trials. I just want to say what godly, godly virtues can come out of you 
three godly virtues, which I call them three Ps, three godly virtues that can come out of you when you're going through the very trials of your life. Number one, if we go back to our passage, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Number one, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So write this down. Number one, when you go through trials, when you go through tests, when you go through challenges in your life, you must understand that God wants to produce, write this down, godly patience in you. The word perseverance means patience. The word perseverance means somebody who is resilient, somebody who can weather the storm. You know, in life, we see those God can trust by the very trials, by the very tests they go through. Somebody said, you are tested to be trusted. And the reality about life is that those who can make it in business, those who can make it in this Christian journey are those who persevere. So when you go through trials, God has an intention. And that intention is to produce a godly virtue in you called perseverance, called patience. So look at yourself, what you're going through. God is refining your patience because patience has a reward. Number one, godly patience is produced <clears throat> when you go through trials. Number two, godly personality is produced when you go through trials. Why? Because the Bible says when you go through perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature. And the word maturity means a godly character, a godly personality. Our second P is a godly personality. Number first was number one was godly perseverance or patience. Number two is godly personality. Your personality is a very key element of who you are. It's your character formation and definition. You must understand that in the midst of your trials, in the midst of the very test that you're going through in life, God wants to produce a godly person in you, godly character. There are some blessings. Let me tell somebody this. There are some blessings which will not come your way till God removes some negatives around your space. Can I repeat this? There are some blessings which will not come your way till God deals with some challenges which might affect the blessings coming your way. So when you go through some trials, God is pruning you. Listen to this. God is pruning you. The word pruning means God is shaping you. He's removing anything which might hinder him from taking glory in your life. So let me give you the last one. Number one, it produces. Your trials will produce godly perseverance. Number two, will produce godly personality. But let me conclude. Number three, when you go through trials, the reason why you should consider it all joy, the reason why you should see the benefit in your trials is because God wants to produce what? His godly purposes over your life. Oh, come on, somebody. You know, the Bible says the plans that God has for you are plans of good and not of evil. We all know that. He has great plans for you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. God's purposes for your life cannot be truncated, cannot be stopped, cannot be hindered. Because you have to go through a process. And when you go through that process, the Bible says you become mature, you become complete. Uh, you, you know, it makes me think of Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5 says we, 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 we joy, we celebrate in our suffering because suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance produces character. Character produces hope. And hope, listen, hope for me is purpose. Hope does not disappoint because of the Holy Spirit that has been poured inside of us. God wants you to fulfill purpose. In the midst of your trials, God is preparing the best woman <laughs> to do and accomplish his good work. God is preparing that great man in you, that great director, that great engineer, that great pilot, that great medical doctor, who knows, that great minister, who knows, 
that great president, that great man of God, pastor. God is preparing the best. So let me conclude. Your trials have not come to put you down. God is using them because there is joy inside a trial. The end result is his purpose. But you have to go through this trial so that he will produce the virtue of perseverance. He will produce great personality. And finally, he will lead you to fulfill his purpose. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord encourage you. See the gain in your trials. See the gain in the challenges because the best is yet to come. May the Lord bless you and keep you. We'll see you next time. God bless you. This has been Pastor Julius from Hope Baptist Church. Thank you. God bless you. Download the Radio Pulpit app on your phone and be in contact with your daily companion 24 hours a day.